One essential ability for this course is to be able to add vectors together. So we will talk about a little bit of vector addition today and two ways that you could do that. So let's switch over to our desktop view so I can draw here. So um, let's just say we have two vectors. We have vector A here and we also have vector B. All right. So how do we add those two together? Well, there are several ways. Okay. The first way is to put these tails together. So we'll put the tails together. Let's see if I can repeat this. Um, so we have A pointed like this and B something like that. So we have A and B. And what we want to do is we want to draw lines that are perpendicular to each of these vectors. So I'll start with A. So that line is supposed to be perpendicular here. So that's supposed to be 90 degrees. And this one's also supposed to be 90 degrees there. And then what we get from that, right, where those two intersect is the vector, well, this vector here to the point where they intersect, so where the tails are connected to the vector uh, to where they intersect, that is our resultant vector. So that represents A plus B. A plus B equals our resultant vector. So that's the first method that we can uh, add vectors. And that can be thought of as the parallelogram. method. So the parallelogram method. So recapping that, we put the tails together, we draw perpendicular lines from each of those vectors, and where they intersect will be our resultant vector or the addition of those two vectors. Okay. The second kind of method that we can use, and the one I like the best, is called tip to tail. The tip to tail method. And I'll tell you why I like this method better in a second. So first let's draw our original two vectors A and we had B something like this. Okay. The way we do this if we want to perform the operation A plus B is we put uh, the tip of one vector to the tail of the other. So we would first draw A going this way, and then we would place B at the tip of that. All right, so B starts here and, and uh, goes down something like this, and that is B. And then we draw a resultant vector our resultant vector goes from the tail of the first vector to the tip of the second vector. So something like this. So that is our resultant vector. So we have A plus B equals this resultant vector. And that is the tip to tail method. And the reason I like this method better is because you can add more than two vectors at a time, right? If we could, we could do things like, um, we could go add vectors A plus B plus C, right? And we would just chain these together and then draw our resultant vector from the very tail here to the, to the last tip. So I've shown you graphical methods for adding vectors together. Uh, let's say you're given Cartesian coordinate in terms of a vector. Let's say you're given two vectors. We have five, three, one is vector A and vector B, let's say, is uh, 2, 4, 1. If we want to add these two vectors together, A plus B, we would just add the components together. So we would have 5 plus 2, which is 7, 
And then we have 3 plus 4, which is 7. And then we have 1 plus 1, which is 2. So our resultant vector then would be equal to these coordinates here.